Now we've created and connected our Atixo account to our Dropbox account, uh, we need to go and set up uh, some apps so that we can connect directly to Dropbox. Um, an example of this is Pages, um, and I'll show you why now. If we uh, select the Share and Print option, uh, you'll notice, as we said before, there is no option to go directly to Dropbox. Um, I could email it using Send to Dropbox, but that does take a little while and it's not, um, it doesn't allow you to select the folder to put it in. What we can do is we can select Copy to Web Dav at the bottom, uh, and we can use this method in any app that gives you the option of copying to Web Dav. So uh, Numbers and Keynote are another example of this. Um, so we're going to select Copy to Web Dav. Uh, so what we need to do now is put in the server address and for every uh, Atixo account that is https uh, colon forward slash forward slash Atixo oh, dav dot Atixo dot com uh, and in the next box we've just got to put our username and our password uh, that's what we signed up to uh, Tixo with. So that was that, and my password. And it's just going to verify that account. And now I can copy using the Dropbox, and I'm going to want it as a PDF. And now, as if by magic, I've got complete access to my entire Dropbox account uh, using pages and I can select where I want to put it. I'm just going to put it in the main part, copy it in there and uh, as soon as that is fully uploaded we're done. And you don't need to set this up every time so once you've done that for the first time um, it'll be set up so that every time you press copy to WebDAV you can access your Dropbox and uh, to put the files in wherever you want to.